The colorful leaves are falling off the trees now, which is a sign that we're heading toward winter. Falling leaves are okay, but falling trees can cause major issues. 27 First News meteorologist Brian Ivey explains how trees can be maintained. Tree damage can occur at any time of the year. Most damage to limbs or the full tree occurs because of wind due to thunderstorms or strong weather systems that bring wind. As we head through the middle of autumn, moist soil from rain events can make it easier for trees to topple. Snow can even fall. With leaves still on the trees, that means many potential problems. It's amazing what that a little bit amount of, of wet snow can, can add to the tree. Uh, so if the tree's in any type of a weakened state, then, then it's an opportunity for failure. Tree and power companies watch the weather forecast to help plan ahead for possible tree damage and subsequent power outages. Trees and tree-related outages, that's one of the largest causes of, of problems with our electricity. Uh, so what we do is throughout the year we trim back the trees that are located near our equipment, our power lines, substations, that type of thing. Trees falling on power lines are not only a big nuisance but can be very dangerous if live wires are on the ground. Tree pruning throughout the year is the best preventative method in order to keep overgrown trees away from power lines and minimize the potential of power outages. The proper pruning of the tree itself, to allow that wind to, to able to move through the tree a, little, a lot easier. You want to get rid of weakened branches, dead branches, dead limbs. If you have tree branches that are a little too close for comfort to power lines, then go to firstenergycorp.com backslash trees to report the problem. You will likely then see your local tree service company making your property safer. In Niles, meteorologist Brian Ivey, WKBN 27 First News.